I have uh, uh, my camping trip got rescheduled. So we decided that we're going to go to Crater Lake instead. We're going the opposite direction. We're going south. There's, the, I guess it's the only national park in Oregon. Is that right? No. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Am I going this week? No, not this week. But we are going to reschedule it for sooner rather than later. Because the other thing, too, is that it gets snowy up there. So we have to go up there before the snow hits. Is it far? It's pretty far. It's like, what, six hours, Master? Four hours? Five hours? Yeah, it's pretty far. So it's pretty far. I've never been there, ever. So that's, that's why I wanted to go. It's on my, it's on my list. My bucket list. So supposed to be really pretty. Master's been there. It I can it's picking you up, Master, I think. I'll turn the preamp off on my microphone. Um yeah, it's between five and six hours uh away. And yeah, it's it's pretty. It, down in the caldera, it's really pretty. Uh, in on the rim, uh, getting f a bit away from it though is uh, kind of deserty. Like a lot of like juniper, uh, pines and whatnot. Scrub trees. Yeah, scrub trees. I I think the hardest part about all of it is uh, going up there, and not being prepared for the just sheer exhaustion. For the first two days. Because you're acclimating to the it's, elevation? Because it's 10,000 fucking feet in the air. Mm. And, and most people are like, oh, yeah, that's no big deal. No, it is fucking exhausting. There's a reason why, like, Nike has all of their distance runners sleep in hyperbaric chambers, in, like, hyperbaric tents set at 10,000 feet so that when they run at sea level, they're just gods. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. It, it's, yeah, yeah. Uh, a couple of guys that I knew in college had like $25,000 um, hyperbaric tents set up in their bedrooms so that when they go to bed and they sleep, they can set the altitude that they're sleeping at mm -hmm. for, you know, Mexico City or whatever. Yeah. Some of the nicer gyms here, they have um, rooms that you can go into and it adjusts the whatever. Master's talking Atmospheric about. pressure. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, it's kind of cool. We're fancy here. Well, I think the the person that kind of brought attention to the fact that that is a thing was Hisham El Garouge back in 88 or 92 or whatever. He went and trained in Mexico City for like three weeks before the Olympics, and then he just fucking destroyed all the records. Mm. Because he had acclimatized and he he had a uh, uh, he had acclimatized to Mexico City and I don't think that the Olympics were in Mexico City I think they were like sea level or something I don't remember and it's irrelevant but Buzzfeed there did I see the Buzzfeed thing about the states today speaking of you being fancy over there no what are they what's tell me what what wisdom Buzzfeed has for us. <laughs> Are you going to answer uh, Samantha's question? Samantha? Oh, am I camping in a tent? Yes. We're going to be camping in a tent. So we have all the camping stuff. Master and I do. So I'm going to take, you know, tent and all that stuff. So I haven't been camping for a couple of years, I feel like. be fun. It'll be cold. And I will cry and whine about it the entire time. But that's just part of the fun of camping. <laughs> Being miserable in the outside. 